Hello! Welcome back to Color and Canvas. Um, today I am doing a Dutch pour on this 11 by 14 canvas. I've put it on a turntable just so that I don't have to keep picking it up and moving it around because I want to blow into my table, not into my floor. So <laughs> that's why we're on a turntable today. We're not going to be spinning the painting or anything. At least I don't think we are. It's not part of the plan. Um, the paints that we're using this cup of gray is all the scrapes off my surface from the last few paintings that I did. Um, actually quite a few paintings and I just put them in the cup, cover them up with plastic wrap, put them away and we end up with this gray color today after all the drips are in here. There is some silicone in here too. I didn't add it. It just happened to be leftovers from the other pores. So while we don't usually use silicone as a base coat, I'm using up this paint today, so it's going to be there. It'll give some interesting effects, and uh, kind of looking forward to seeing how it's going to turn out. The other colors that we're using are gold, black, and I've mixed up some red and purple together. I kind of have a light burgundy color and a dark burgundy color, and that's just my red and purples mixed together in different ratios. So hopefully those will look nice. Um, just plain white. I added just a little drop of pearlescent medium in there and I've decided I want another drop in there. So oops, oops, a little bit more. Um, and I've thinned out the paints in the cups with a little bit of water because I want them a little runnier. I'm not thinning out the paints in my bottles. They're going to be a little thicker consistency, but that's all right. I don't mind, they'll play a little differently on the canvas, and that's okay with me, so. But these ones are thinned out a bit. We're not adding anything more to these, just the Floetrol and water that's in there right now. Alright, so let's get this base coat down. And then we will pour some colors on and see what happens. So uh, here we go. You can actually see where the silicone resisted a little bit, but we're adding paint now, so it's going to be okay. And I think I'm going to go... I did another one earlier that was just kind of like that, and I think we'll keep up that theme. And just put our colors across that way. This color scheme was thought up by my neighbor. She saw me do a gray one earlier, and I was lamenting that gray is not my favorite color to work with, even though I have all this gray paint right now. And she recommended that I try using burgundy. And I said, hey, why not? It's a color combination that she really likes. And I said, hey, let's use it. Let's find out if we like it. It's a color combination I've never used. So burgundy and gold is what we're using today. And I need the black and white for that little bit of contrast, but burgundy and gold are going to be the main players. I will put down a bit more black. A touch more of our white. Okay. And we'll kind of see, I'm going to go for a bit more of that red. Let, the, let that burgundy really come through. All right. Let's see what we see. Thank you. 
definitely uneven, but those are some gorgeous colors up there. Oh my gosh. Was she ever right about that? That looks beautiful together, but we have a decided lack of burgundy down this way. So I think we're just going to add a few drips. Just drip a little bit on and blow this out a little bit more. There's still a lot of paint on here, so it's not suddenly going to have a dry canvas or anything like that. I think we'll add a little bit of gold. We'll add a little bit of all of our colors, actually. And I'm going to drizzle that white on. I don't want to go too crazy with the white. All right, and let's just blow out to that corner after I drizzle on a bit of this darker one. Okay, I am going to fast forward this part of the video because as you can see, it did not work out on the first pass of the hairdryer at all. Uh, we have some beautiful colors, we have some beautiful ideas to work with, but it didn't quite work out. And you know what, that is just the way that it goes when you're working with a new set of colors that you haven't tried before and, you know, a technique, you know, we don't normally put silicone in the base coat either, so it was a little problematic and it took a bit more effort than we had thought but it was so worth it because as you saw at the painting at the beginning, it turned out fantastic. So this was really an experiment of colors, an experiment of techniques and different ingredients. And it was definitely worthwhile to get such a beautiful, beautiful result as we did. So if you want, keep on watching. You'll see all the steps, all the colors added, all the uh, times that we hit that thing with the hairdryer, <laughs> but it worked. It turned out fantastic and I'm really, really glad that I made the effort to do it. just leave that. It's colorful, it's bright, there's a lot going on. Let's see how these cells develop, but I think I like it better. Uh, I highly recommend you make use of your leftover paints. If you can use them to make something new, why not go for it? Um, for me, I'm not big on gray paint and it's a good learning experience for me using a gray with different colors, so there we are. It was definitely worth doing. All right, thanks again, and uh, go paint yourself something beautiful, and have a great day. Bye-bye.